Hi and welcome to On Two Wheels. In today's video, I talk about the clutch switch on the DRZ400. Do you really need it? Stay tuned. So the clutch switch is something that you need to get a roadworthy and lucky for me I had one lying around. So with this switch essentially you need to pull the clutch in for the start button to work. So the clutch switch stops you from accidentally pressing the start button and firing up the engine when you don't want to. So how does the clutch switch work? When the clutch is pulled the circuit closes and the bike can fire up. But with no clutch the circuit remains open and you won't be able to start the bike. The switch itself is a pretty basic switch and it goes in the side of the clutch perch. So the wire needs to run along the handlebar and at the other end of the wire is a yellow wire with a green stripe and connects to a similar wire out of the main harness. The awesome thing about this particular switch is that when you take the switch off, the two wires coming off the main harness can clip into each other and permanently close the circuit. So now you don't need to pull the clutch anymore. It's unlikely that you'll have to fiddle with this much but I have been on a ride where the rider dropped his bike and the bike just wouldn't start up. It turned out that the clutch switch had cracked at the perch and the circuit wasn't closing. It took us a while to figure it out but once we did, we just bypassed the switch and the bike was alive again. But different people have their own opinions on if this switch is necessary. So some people see this as a point of failure on the bike but in fact it's meant to be a safety precaution and frankly it doesn't take much effort and after a while it just becomes second nature. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that switch in but I'll let you decide for yourself. So like this video if you found this useful. And remember to subscribe to On2Wheels for more content like this. Thank you for watching. See you next time.